Carlos. It's very nice uh, to see you today. Hello, it's Emma. the 40th anniversary of the company and we are here to talk about the present, about the future. So it's a pleasure to be here with you today. Yes, we are celebrating the 40th anniversary and it's a pleasure for me to speak to you today about uh, technology and about GMB. So, Inma, um, how do you think the company has evolved over the previous years? Well, when I joined uh, the company, it was like almost 20 years ago. Mm -hmm. uh, my impression uh, during my job interview and the first days at GMB uh, was that the uh, team spirit was very important for the company, for, for my team, for my managers. And it was also surprised by the proximity of the managers and how reachable they were. Mm -hmm. So I think these were the two things that uh, impressed me more during my first months and first uh, years in GMB. Okay. And you? I think that uh, not only in ITS, in Intelligent Transportation System, but in general in all the group, I think we have seen uh, an evolution and nowadays, all, of, all the branches and all the, the firms that uh, form part of uh, Group GMB uh, have a clear focus on quality and on standards. And the standardization of our activities uh, has been remarkable during mm -hmm. last years. In space and in navigation, we are not uh, so far away as you are in transportation there when implementing a product and services oriented approach. But I think that this will be one of the main challenges in the future. In fact, I'm leading the navigation products and services business unit. So we should somehow be oriented to that. Mm -hmm. And you know that the space uh, landscape is uh, being completely changed in, in these years. And uh, in the past, and GMB was used to that, uh, we used to have uh, projects, uh, the customer is asking for some, something, uh -huh. and you are going to implement it for them. So you have a very a specific schedule with very specific tasks that, that you need to do. And then at the end of the project, you just deliver what the customer was requesting once, one shot. Right now, with the evolution of the space environment, I think that customers will be demanding more and more uh, turnkey solutions that uh, should be ready for use in a very short period of time. We need to be there not only with a product or with a service, but also with something that is uh, providing good quality and uh, good performance for the customers. So, um, very interesting, Irma. And what do you think have been the keys to GMB success um, up to now and for the future? Uh, first, uh, the courage, courage to face uh, complicated challenges because sometimes uh, I think that other companies just uh, don't want to do it because they don't want to take any risk. Mm -hmm. Anything new, anything that is complicated uh, comes with uh, a risk that now not everyone is willing to take. So courage and Courageous people uh, would be one of these keys. Mm -hmm. The other could be ambition, ambition to be the best and to be the number one and not uh, getting comfortable with and what you already company. have and mm -hmm. keep growing. So Carlos, talking about the future of GMB and the different trends in the different uh, mm -hmm. sectorials GMB is working right now, what do you think would be the, the most uh, relevant ones? We are seeing that the trend is that all the solutions are interconnected. And if we provide a fleet management system, for example, for a public authority, that public authority uh, needs to report that information to a high level, um, regional level information, mm -hmm. and so on. So the interconnection is uh, key nowadays in our systems and we uh, need to be not only the best in providing our solution but also the best in integration, integration uh, solution from mm -hmm. other stakeholders. And I think this is a very important opportunity uh, not only for us in ITS but also for us in GMB Group. 
Well, it's difficult to say, no, to predict the future, but uh, regarding transportation, I really hope there will be millions or even billions of autonomous vehicles. Of course, yes, <laughs> this we... will be a, a dream uh, come true. Uh, regarding the other sectors of the company, I, but this is a personal opinion, I think that uh, many others are going to become part of our daily life. Mm -hmm. For example, navigation. Navigation used to be something that uh, was used uh, for very specific applications like uh, geodesy, for civil aviation, sometimes yes. for military applications. But right now, uh, it's everywhere and everyone is using it. You have it in your mobile phone, in your car, in trucks, everywhere. So, Internet of Things, uh, this is the popularization of the navigation. And I think it will happen the same in space or even in cybersecurity. Mm -hmm. Space uh, will become uh, something in our daily life that is, and I think it will help society to evolve and also to be more sure. secure yeah. in general. Okay. So in this uh, evolving and very fast changing environment, what do you think will be the most relevant disruptive and technological changes in the next uh, months or years? Well, at DMB uh, with uh, the technical group, uh, with the excellent technical group, uh, I have no doubt that we will be at the forefront of these uh, disruptive changes. Um, to speak about some of them, for example, yes, I agree with you, the artificial intelligence is uh, very important for us. Mm -hmm. Nowadays we have a very important group of people working in artificial intelligence. Uh, working on how to shape the future of our clients using artificial intelligence and uh, not only for our clients but as you have said uh, we are going to give uh, solutions uh, faster so we need uh, we also use artificial intelligence not to give the best solution for our clients mm -hmm. but also to give them in the most efficient way possible in GMB. And, and what about the challenges? Well, I think that challenges uh, could be in different aspects of the company. On one hand, we have the technological challenges uh, that are uh, there to integrate and uh, mm. to make the best uh, from the new technologies that uh, we have now available and that will come in the, in the next years. There are also challenges regarding the changes in the rules of the game. Uh, this is something that uh, was uh, slower a, a few years ago, but now the, change, the rules uh, change very fast. And we need to be disruptive, we need to adapt, but uh, don't forget uh, the key values of the companies and don't lose them. Well, this is uh, also mm -hmm. a, a challenge to, to keep this compromise. I think that in general, um, every success uh, from each and every one of us, it doesn't mind how, how small <laughs> it may seem, but I think it's, it's a success of GMB group. Yes. So yes, we this have to important. think in the, in the group, and uh, think personally and in the group, and we will get the, the success in the, in the next future. <laughs>